Okay, I'm going to start making these motivational Mondays more like my fictional Fridays on my media channel. And that means I'm just going to make it more conversational. I'm still going to have the quotes and everything. And this latest quote is this. Never stop learning. Every day I learn something new that I'm able to apply to my business. The day you stop learning is the day you will no longer grow. And I put that on there because I just finished reading my, well, I didn't finish the book. It's called Fanatical Prospecting. And I discipline myself by saying that I'm going to read an hour each day. I think everyone can fit in an hour in their time slot each day to read, especially if you're working on your own business and you set your schedule and everything. And I want to include that in here because it's important to increase your knowledge and continue to learn. I'm working on my new niche. I'm in the social media marketing agency and I wanted to bring up that book because it's very good. It really helps you understand the importance of prospecting, keeping that pipeline filled with new clients and everything. And I'm on like chapter eight and stuff. I still have a lot of more pages to read, but enough about that book. Essentially, you want to keep learning. That's important. Also, I want to give you updates on what's going on. I'm starting to feel a little burnout because with my niche, it's more like social media management and stuff like that. And of course, I'm still trying to learn and stuff because there's a lot of information out there that I don't know because I'm a beginner to this field and I'm trying to learn some stuff. So luckily, I'm in a Telegram group that helps with the niche that I'm in. And in that group, they talk about the niche and stuff, different tools to use and stuff like that. So far, I've been doing everything manually and I can feel the burnout, especially when things don't go as well. There's not as enough people coming in, not growing as fast and everything. Then I found some different tools and stuff to use. One to automate mate Instagram. I'm still going to look for some bots uh, to automate Twitter because I understand that doing everything yourself, even if you have more than one client, is still a lot. Right now I have three for real clients, stuff like that. And still you have to do the doing it by hand and also working on your brand is really not i'm pretty sure you could do it but there's not a lot of hours in your day to scale it so that's why you need a team number one costs money or you can do it the other way which is ai or bots automation how do you want it however you want to call it use different services and stuff like that so i found this service called sharing tools which i tested a little bit it works, it benefits and stuff like that, but it automates the Instagram and helps you get followers basically by doing what you would regularly do if you're on your phone doing it yourself. And that's basically using the app, looking at different people's stories, liking it, da 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 move on. People see that, they want to reach out, they check your profile, stuff like that. And it really connects with fanatical prospecting because they talk about touches and stuff like that touches basically it means impressions when they see you and everything like that so the sharing tools kind of automates that process i'm going to try to find a good service for twitter because for my niche i really use twitter to do outreach and stuff like that and i need to be able to do posts more posts and more engagement so i can get more followers i think a lot of bots followed the twitter profile for the company profile and I also need to create more social profiles for the business, Instagram and stuff like that. I have one Instagram profile that's for the modeling agency because that goes for the OLF niche. I can use that for promotion. That's like a promotion page. I can do outreach on that because I do have my personal profile that's going to be more for me, my YouTube channel and my gaming channel, which really a media channel because I'm not going to give up on that. And also, I do have the channels made. It's just I may, reached my limit because for YouTube, you can only do two accounts per number per year. And I reached that limit. So eventually, well, 
for certain things. You can still upload the videos to the channel, but you can't change the thumbnail and stuff like that. So I might wait or I might put some things on this channel. It depends. I want to keep this motivational. I want to keep this health and fitness oriented. And the reason why I can do with this motivational Monday. So if you're in that space and everything like that. So let's talk about some fitness stuff. I'm really, because I told you about keto and everything, and I went deeper into the rabbit hole, kind of like when you get into conspiracy theories and everything, but I kind of understand. So I went deeper into the keto rabbit hole, and deeper into keto would be, because there's different forms of keto. You have Mediterranean keto, and then I only know keto, Mediterranean keto, and you have paleo. Uh, that I think that's nuts and meats and stuff like that. But then I, I just went deeper and went into the carnivore. So I've been learning more about that. Carnivore is pretty much you only eat meat, of course. Even you can go different types of carnivore. You can have strict carnivore meat, salt, water, da 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 you're done. Or you can have carnivore, meaning animal products. So you can do cheese. Even if you're doing cheese, you're not doing a lot of cheese. Uh Milk is kind of um because it has carbs in it and stuff like that. Stuff like that. So I've been looking into that, uh, eating, trying to get rid of my other stuff because I want to go more towards the carnivore. Still didn't just throw them away because it was still good stuff. I was using the um, Sun Warrior. Yes, it was the Sun Warrior collagen peptides. The vanilla flavor. It was good. It tasted good. Everything but like that. But the reason why I like carnivore so more much and i'm going to explore that more is going to give me some resources to talk about for the channel and stuff like that and because they make sense uh for anyone who understand any common sense is really not a conspiracy plants are trying to kill you and i'll explain why first we need to understand the point of evolution and this doesn't matter if you believe in religion or this is just strictly science even in the short amount of time Creatures are evolve, uh, creatures evolve, creatures are trying to survive. Animals survive by running away, fighting, killing, trapping, all this stuff. They can move and stuff like that. Of course, there are some poisonous animals. I just want to bring that up, but that's not important for this situation. But you also have plants. Plants are living creatures who are, that are trying to survive as well. Plants can't move. So plants have different defense mechanisms, and they evolve over time. One of the main defense mechanisms is, what do they call it, chemical warfare? So they have poisons, toxins, stuff like that. One of the major toxins that I came across are oxalates. And oxalates are basically anti-nutrients. I will have to do more research and all this stuff, but pretty much there's oxalates, and there's some other things. These are anti-nutrients. They activating your body makes you uh, where you can't absorb as much nutrients. That's the term anti-nutrient. So you're not getting what you need to survive, basically. And then, of course, there are different plants that have different levels of these things and stuff like that. Almonds are pretty high in oxalates. This was the first thing that I got rid of. I ate it, by the way, those almond-based cookies and almond flour, stuff like that. So I don't do almonds anymore. And I understand why it's hard for people to lose weight and eat healthy. And I think m most of that is from their attachment to things. Like if they valued health more and higher things like feeling better, being able to perform at your best, then it's easy to cut things out. Because I was able to just cut out almonds, stop buying them, stop dealing with almond flour. And then I look for better things. Like if I do decide to do something sweet, uh, for example, and eat something like a treat, I'll use coconut flour instead of almond flour. Still tastes decent. And coconut flour does not have, well, coconuts do not have as many oxalates as almonds. But that's in the past. So I still have pistachios. Pistachios are low on oxalates. I already have the pistachios, so I'm not going to buy any more. I'm going to slowly go more and more and more into carnivore. I'm going to stick with, I'm still going to do macadamia nuts. Macadamia nuts are in Mediterranean keto. 
and eventually I might phase it out, but I've been eating a lot more meat and stuff like that. So we'll see over this next month how things go and see what happens. Because I want to perform my best, look my best, do as much as possible because I have a business to run and I have other things to do. So that's pretty much it for the updates. You'll see more videos. I'll be going into more depth on plants are trying to kill you. Talk about carnivore, try to convert and stuff. And it helps me learn, you learn. We both get to benefit from this. Also, I'm doing this because now they revealed the new M2 Max MacBook. I've been waiting on that before I can really, really start to edit stuff because I'm still working on this 2015 MacBook Pro. A base edition, like integrated graphics, doesn't even have a graphics card. It's like it's really horrible. Well, it's really, and it's really actually performs well, but it shows its age. And plus, I can't update to the Mac OS Venture. I'm pretty sure if I really figured it out and looked into it, I could find a way to do the hacking way, but I don't have time for all that right now. So that's going to come this week, and then I'll be able to do more videos, get more content to you, help you out, give you more information, and I'll be able to do that across my social channels. And then I'll be able to step up my social media uh, game, which will help with my business and all this stuff. I'll be able to create more content, and then we'll see what's going on. So February, I'm going to have a lot planned, and then we're going to get some other tools that I have to tell you about. First, I have a call with this company, Nick, not next week, but tomorrow, which is going to help with pretty much everything to do with social media because it has to do with proxies. And proxies are pretty much what people use when it comes to doing automation, creating a lot of bots, creating a lot of accounts, using proxies. And I'm starting to get into the game because right now I don't have a lot of people, resources to help me. So I have to use the cheapest resource, which is the free resources, which is AI. So think about using AI. Use ChatGPT. Use all the new stuff to help you. You need to get an edge because if you're just starting this out in 2022, or if you haven't even started out and you're thinking about starting it out, you're behind. I was behind when I started like July 2022. Now we need to catch up, so we have to use all the resources we can we have to play smarter and harder